welcome to Savor the Southwest slash Gardening with Soul. And what I've got here in my hand is some creosote bush that uh, I, I pruned it off the bush and I let it dry. And why am I saving these creosote bushes leaves? Because somebody took my lotion, making lotion class, on my class site, and they said, I love the scent of creosote. Um, can, I, can I possibly put that in lotion? And the answer is, the answer was, I don't know. I, I know you can put it in lotion. You would just take the leaves, dry them, and make a tea out of them. And um, then you use that to make your lotion. But just because we can doesn't mean we should. So I'm going to make a test batch and test it on the inner surface of my skin and see if it irritates my skin at all. Um, I have put creosote tea in my homemade soaps in the past, but I don't think I've ever put it in lotion. So we're gonna, we're gonna test that and see. Um, you can drink it as a tea once in a while. You don't wanna do too much. It can be hard on your kidneys, um, excuse me, it can be hard on your liver, but uh, it's also being studied as a drug to kill, to target the more rapidly producing cells of cancer in the liver. And it appears to do a very good job of killing liver cancer cells, but of course, um, that's a preliminary study. Don't do this at home, right? Don't treat your own cancer. All that sort of disclaimer stuff. Um, it's being studied. When they find out what chemical does that and how they can charge millions of dollars for it, then it'll be okay to do it. But of course, every plant has many, many, many secondary compounds in it. And, um, this creosote has, oh, it's so fragrant. Now, I may not make, uh, it, the lotion may not work out. Well, I'll, I'll come back and let you know. But even if the lotion doesn't work out, I'm going to have some nice potpourri. And then I also have some very nice sticks here that are all dried and are going to be great for fire starters because... The resins are in the wood as well as in the leaves. Um, you just do make sure it burns off a little bit before you cook your food on it. And there we have it. A nice supply of dried creosote leaves to make whatever out of. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Savor the Southwest.